Hello there and welcome. This is the first of a series of videos to accompany the Joomla, Joomla tutorial how to develop an MVC component as you can see on this web page here. The main aim of these videos is to help you understand the why. Why is the code like that? So many tutorials, I think, on the web give you instructions of what code to put in what files and you follow the instructions and you maybe get something to work at the end of the day, but you don't really understand why, what is going on with the code, why is the code written like that. So hopefully these videos will help you with that process. So what do you need to understand? Well, it's going to be helpful if you understand how the Joomla admin works, uh, being able to navigate your way around there, adding articles and uh, components and um, extensions, that sort of thing. Um, if you're coming along to develop something, you really have to have some sort of basic um, computer programming experience. PHP, JavaScript and SQL is what we're going to be using. And even if you've got just a basic knowledge of those, that's going to be helpful. It's also going to be useful to have some understanding of HTTP requests and responses, posts, gets, URL formats, that sort of thing. And as we're going to be developing an MVC um, component, it's going to be helpful to have understanding of what model view controller really is about as a concept. And you can find a lot of information about that on the internet. Now I'm going to be using Windows and a bit of Ubuntu within a uh, virtual box that I've got running in my PC here. We're just going to be using basic editors, no complex development environments. Um, I'll probably use Windows more than Ubuntu through these videos just because Ubuntu runs in a, a virtual box. So that is using up some of the resources on the PC and makes it a bit slower. For this first uh, step, I'll do it both within Windows and Ubuntu, just in case you're unfamiliar with one or the other. So here is the virtual box I've got running. Um, I've got a terminal running here and I've installed Joomla within this, uh, this directory here, slash var slash www slash html. And I've got a subdirectory hw under that for hello world. So if we, oops. There you can see all the Joomla files. And if we go to our browser, this is the administrator panel running within that Joomla instance. And this is the front end of the site. It's just got a, a dummy featured article that I've put in there. So what I've done is I've created all of the code for the, um, for the first step, I've just copied it directly from the web page and it's all in this, this directory here, hw for hello world under my home directory. And you can see all those various files. I've got it open in Sublime Text Editor. Um, the main file that uh, we need for this step is this hello world.xml, which is really the manifest file which tells Joomla all about the component that you want to install. There's stuff which is associated with the description, and I've just changed a few things there. Um, when we get on to using the database in later steps, this section on um, updating the schema is going to be useful. And really this next bit is really saying to Joomla, these are the files and the folders uh, which I want you to include within your, uh, with when you upload the extension and um, install it on the system. Uh, aside from that, we've just got the hello world PHP within the site, hello world PHP within the administrator section. So let's go and install this. We go to our 
administrator panel we go to extensions manage and install and we found find various options here we can upload a zip file or install from a folder or from a url i'm going to install from that folder so i'm going to say it's from home ubuntu hw and the slash at the, uh, at the end is important so let's go ahead and install that installation of the component was successful now if we go on to the components menu we can see hello world where it wasn't previously if we go on to the extensions manage manage and we can put in hello as a search term there And there it is, the Hello World functionality or the Hello World component. Um, you can see its type as component, the version number, which we had in the manifest file, the date and the author. If we try to you now add a menu item, usually what we can do, we can add a menu item and then add uh, something like an article to it. And we can go to this select. However, what we find that hello world isn't there yet. So we can't add a menu item to that um, component just yet. But we'll do that in a later exercise. If we cancel that and go to our components and click on hello world what joomla will do is it will run that file hello world.php within the administration area and if we go back to sublime this is the file here within the admin hello world administration and that is the file that joomla is running there if we want to see what the back end is we can set it up to access it via menu item but we can by just copying the URL into here and removing the administrator part of it whoops sorry That's better. So this is now running the site Hello World. And as you can see there, it's just outputting Hello World. So we've got our component successfully installed. And now if we go back to the structure of the file system, we'll go to slash var slash dot HTML. And Look under HTML. CD, and if we look in the components folder, we see com hello world. So Joomla has actually installed our component into its components directory. And if we look within that file, or within that folder um, we will be able to see the files that it's got there and it has also put it into the administrator section as well so if we go up and change direction to administrator We can see also calm hello world within the administrator section and if we list what's in that 
we can see the files really that we specified within the original directory. So we've successfully um, installed the first, we've done the first step of installing the component. Now I did want to actually show you something because it has in the web page there, if we look down, we see prevents web server from listing directory contents. So just in case you don't know what that means, we'll go back here and we'll go back to the um, the this is the Joomla directory. We'll go to our component. And com hello world. So there we've got hello world.php and index.php. If we try to and change index.html index html I'll have to index html html And we'll go back to our local host. And what we find is we are actually able to list the directory there in that um, directory on the system, which is obviously something that we don't really want to do because people can come in and then actually find out stuff about the directory. So that is why it is called index.html. And we've got a kind of like a dummy index.html there. If I, uh, if I go and move it back, And we try that again. Well, we don't see anything because the web server, when it finds something like that, when you're, you're trying to um, access a directory and there's an index.html there, the web server will give you that index.html rather than allowing you to view the directory. Finally, just we'll try doing this within Windows. And what we've got within Windows, we've got the WAMP server running, uh, www, and then I've installed it, Joomla, in this directory here called Hello World. I've put all the code within this directory just really to have it close to there. It's all www hello world code, and it's all in there. So if I start up, notepad plus plus and let's open that folder you can see all the same files there i've just copied them over from the ubuntu instance and then if we go then on to our this is that Joomla instance, which is running on the Windows now. If we go on to extensions, sorry, what I'll do first is I will, I will take this code and we'll send to a zip folder. So we've now got a, let's rename that one. So we've just really zipped up the code 
within that folder. And this is another way we, which enables you to install um, components or extensions onto Joomla. We'll manage and install. It's just timed out. And this time we're going to upload a package. So we'll browse for a file and it will be under um, this is the file here. Install was successful. So once again, we find hello world there. If we go to extensions, manage, manage, we should find it there as well. Yep. And then if we go to the site, whoops, if we go to the if we go to the site, we should find the hello world running. Yes, there it is, just the message hello world. And to under the administrator section, if you go components, hello world, you get to the um, the administrator, hello world.php. So that's it. That's the first step. We've got the extension successfully loaded onto Joomla. Thanks for listening.